Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're doing another internet uh, find. My brother actually sent me this uh, recipe, it's from Facebook. Uh, it's uh, Budget Chicken Alfredo. Um, some of you that are on Facebook probably seen it. Uh, I like chicken Alfredo, so I decided I'd give it a shot and bring you all along for be a guinea pig like me. So sit back, relax, and uh, I'll get to cooking. All right, y'all. Uh, like I said, this is a budget-friendly chicken Alfredo. Uh, never made it before, but uh, it looked good, so we're going to give it a try. So we got some mushrooms. Um, I'm adding mushrooms. It wasn't in the original recipe, but I like mushrooms. So we're going to add some mushrooms. We got our chicken. This is a canned chicken. You can use, you know, stuff that you've cooked or whatever leftovers. Buy one of those rotisseries, shred it. We got our ramen noodles. Uh, we got some uh, uh, roasted garlic Alfredo sauce. So, um, and got some heavy cream over here, some cheeses, a uh, little bit of seasoning. So, super easy from what they uh, showed on the internet uh, to put her together. So, just start out and put your raw almond noodles down in a uh, 9 by 13 pan and I'm using the disposable pan as always because uh, that's a lot easier to clean up and uh, all right there's that and uh, they said to take one flavoring packet from your ramen noodles uh, sprinkle it over the top uh, again you know, this is all how they said to do it. Uh, so, all right, I've got the one noodle there, or one uh, packet there, kind of spread out. Now, at this point, they just put their chicken on, put their stuff on. I'm gonna add my mushrooms because I like mushrooms in my Alfredo. If you don't like mushrooms, don't add them. But I am a mushroom fan, so. I'm a fan of the fungus, so oh, one trying to escape there. And these were these were actually some leftovers from another dish I made off camera. Uh, I just uh, had them left over, so uh, we uh, we're gonna use them. So all right, now they they said to use two half chicken breasts. Um, that's about what this is. So we're gonna kind of crumble that up. Put that on there, and you know, add a little more chicken never hurt anybody. So, do that. Kind of break the bigger pieces up a little bit. You know, they said to shred your chicken, but you know, why not just have some bite sized pieces? Okay, that looks pretty pretty well covered all right let me wash my hands and uh, we'll continue on all right y'all we're back got my hands all cleaned up oh preheat pre your oven to 350 degrees so all right we're gonna take our alfredo sauce kind of dump it out get as much out as you can I think they used bigger jars, but it'll be all right. This looks like it's going to cover everything, so. All right, now, they said a cup of water. Rinse your jar out. Dump that over. And then about a, eight ounces of heavy cream. I got 16 here, so about eight ounces. Rinse this jar out with the cream. And from past experiences, make sure your lids 
lids on there. Alright. Actually smelling and looking pretty dang good. Alright. Now, I'm going to take a spatula and kind of schmooze that out just a little bit. Make sure we're kind of evenly covered. Alright, there's that. Now, I got an Italian blend cheese. We're going to cover her in cheese. Not a heavy layer, just a just a layer. Because, you know, Alfredo sauce is already cheesy, so it's going to go down easy. Because it's cheesy. Italian bin, and then for good measure, we're going to put some uh, Parmesan on here, just to be kind of fancy. Not a lot of the Parm. Because we're going to make some garlic bread, and we're going to put this Parmesan cheese on the garlic bread. So, all right. And last but not least, basically probably for decoration, we're going to add some uh, basil and oregano. They used uh, Italian seasoning. I don't have any right at the moment. So we're just going to kind of top her off with that. There's our oregano. All right, now, once my oven gets up to 350 degrees, we'll pop her in there. They said to bake it for 45 to 50 minutes. I'm going to put it in for about 40 minutes, check it, and then go from there. So, let me get this in baking, and uh, we will bring you all back whenever uh, it's done. All right, y'all. Timer went off, so we're gonna grab a forkula. We're gonna poke down in here. It feels like the noodles are done. Ooh, folded piece of chicken up. All right, I think she's done. So. We're going to let it cool a little bit, and then uh, we'll cut into it and uh, have us taste test. So, smells delicious. Um, when I first pulled it out there, you notice it's a little bubbly around the edges. That's perfect. So, let's let it cool, and then we'll come back and do our taste test. All right, y'all. Got my garlic bread all cooked up there. And a uh, little uh, tip. Use a pizza cutter when you're cutting your garlic bread. That way you don't kind of... It kind of folds it out and you can cut it. And you don't smash and destroy your uh, garlic bread. So it looks nice and pretty like that. So, All right. These are already portioned out. So we're going to go ahead and get us a chunk out of here. Mmm, that, that smells really good. Mmm, oh, it tastes pretty good too. So, all right, let's, uh, let's go over here and do our taste test. Alright y'all, time for the taste test. So, got a little corner here that has noodles and some chicken and everything else. Apparently I didn't cut the noodles good enough. There we go.
Y'all, that is surprisingly good. Give me a piece of the chicken. Yeah, got my seal of approval, y'all. So, don't mind the coffee maker in the background. It'll be alright. I'm making some coffee because my meal. So, anyways, there you go. Budget friendly chicken alfredo. Super easy to make. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, cheap. Um, I'm going to say this. I didn't price it all out, but I'm going to say it's like 10, 12 bucks for everything. Got the chicken, the alfredo, um, and the uh, ramen noodles. So, I mean, if you add mushrooms, you know, that's great. But, uh, yeah, cheap, easy, and enough for to feed the whole family. So, thanks for watching, and uh, appreciate it. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, bear appetit.